For a man to know himself is for him to feel to feel that for for him there is no human master. For him nature it, his servant and whoever he wills in, in, in nature. That shall be his reward. If four hundred million Negroes can only get to know themselves to know that in them is a sovereign power is an authority that is absolute, absolute then in the next power. 24. Oh, 20, <laughs> the, next, the next 24 hours, we would have a, a new race, we would have a nation, mm -hmm. an empire, resurrected not from the will of others to see us rise, but from our own determination to rise. But Irrespective our, of what the world thinks. But from our own determination to rise. Irrespective to what the world thinks. So they can think we're a nigger if they want to. But we're still going to rise. Because we know that we're not a nigger. And we're not going to accept that contract. Just like if your name... What's your name? If I say, Fred, you going to answer? How come? All right. <laughs> <laughs> So if you know that you're the founder of civilization, and the founder of civilization were not black people, as soon as they utter it out of their mouth, before they even say it, you correct them. Before they even put it in their mind that they're going to call you something that you're not, you correct them. By to know in them is a sovereign power, is an authority that is absolute. Then in the next 24 hours, if you know yourself, in the next 24 hours we will have a new race. Not 500 years, not getting some awards because slavery is over and we need to celebrate the abolition of slavery. In 24 hours, so tomorrow at 11.05, There'll be a new race of young see. people coming out of Cedar Break that are getting that. hundreds, that are getting yeah. marked so high that teachers don't even want to teach you. That are getting marked so high that that like they're not even going to know what to do. They, their backs will be against a wall because they will really not know what to do because y'all are supposed to be niggers to yeah. And all you do is get suspended, and, uh, and that's all. The picture on the right is of Pope Benedict. The Pope, like right now. And when he goes around the world, he has that crest above him, and he has that crest on the podium where he's talking. And on that crest, there's a sister on there, wearing a crown. And that's obviously a sister. Yeah. 2011, right now. Right now, wherever the Pope is, he's, he's repping that. But you don't know yourself. People wanna people wanna say that the the prototype of you is Nicki Minaj. When the Pope of the of the Roman Catholics has a picture of you on his crest going around the world. And she's not a black person. Christian Black Codes, Christian Black Codes of 1724 was the rules that they used to govern the slaves. So if you're a slave, there's 54 articles, and 5 and 4 is 9, and 9 is how much months you spent in your mom's womb before you came on the earth plane. And the whole 
idea of slavery was to attack the woman. The whole purpose of slavery was to attack the sister and to lynch the brother so that she has no defense when the slave master comes to push these codes on her. And they push these codes on her because she's the one that brings forth humanity. And once they have the sister's mind, they have the child's mind. Because whatever the mom thinks, the child thinks. Because the womb is the first school. And cedar bread doesn't mean nothing. The first school was when you came out of your mother. That's the school that's supposed to teach you everything that you know. So when you come to Cedar Break, you're, already, you're just going through the motions. Just to get that piece of paper so you can go to the next level. And then go through those motions and get that paper to go to the next level so you can be the 400 million that are going to be making some type of change in society. Got 24 hours, that's all it takes. All it takes is 24 hours of you being serious. Put Call of Duty aside for a second. <laughs> Put Xbox aside and Wii aside and Blackberries aside for a second. And take 24 hours and look at yourself in the perspective that you're supposed to look at yourself. And you would see that the only reason that we're going through what we're going through as a people is because we were never looking at ourselves in the right perspective. Um, We forbid slaves belonging to different masters to gather in crowds, either by day or by night, under the pretext of a wedding or any other cause, either at a dwelling or on the grounds of one of their masters or elsewhere, as much less on the highways or secluded places under the penalty of corporal punishment, which shall not be less than a whip. In case of frequent offenses of the kind, the offender shall be branded with the mark of the flower de luce, or the fleur de lys, which is that. And then that's the same symbol that's on the Quebec flag. And that's the same symbol that the New Orleans Saints use. Yeah. They would brand you with that. They would put that thing in a fire and then brand you with it. If you didn't follow these codes. But that only applies to black people. And you would have to be a black person in order for them to do that to you. Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. Most people have been to Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. Niagara Falls used to be called Nigger Falls. Isn't that where the railroad was? Say that again? The underground railroad? It came through there, yeah. Oh, so okay, so clean. Right? <laughs> Alright, so so the idea of going over the falls in a barrel comes from Hello? when they used to cut off the heads of Moorish women and Moorish children and let the heads go over the go over the fall. The waterfall? Yeah. That's hectic. That's why this thing came about about going over the falls in a barrel. That people wanted to try and go over the falls in a barrel and then if they survive then they get like uh, whatever. To say that they did that. When when you were in power, when you were in power, you used to go to the falls, you know when they would have people go on the boat and go on go down here. Made of the mist. Made of the mist? Yeah. You're the made of the mist. <laughs> You're the made of the mist. And what you used to do is you used to receive energy from the ions in the water at Niagara Falls. And that's where you would go and do the baptisms for your children. And that's how this became a, a tourist attraction. Because of the things that you used to do there when you were in control of your land. Before you started calling yourself black people. And before you started allowing people to call you what you're not. And there's towns 
in the Americas called Matamoras, which means kill the Moors. So when somebody says, um, somebody says, um, okay to you, or if you say okay in agreement to something, okay comes from AK. And AK comes from all kill. And all kill comes from when you used to be the mothers of civilization. When the Europeans came into your land, the men used to take you and put you into hiding. And when you got found with your children, the signal was AK. And they would murder all, they would murder all of you. Chop your heads off and throw you over the falls as a ritual. This is just a picture of a European family crest. The last name Biggs. Big. B-Y-G-G. B-I-G-G-E. This was the family crest of a European family in Europe. The family crest of the European family had you on it. Because you were the first people of Europe. The first people of Europe was yourself. Not people that we call white people. And then this is hard to make out, but you can see that all the heads are black. And these are some of the last names of the crests of European families. And this is out of a book that's like this big. Talking about the black nobility of Europe. And pages and pages and pages and pages of crests, all these crests of family names from A to Z that were you that ran Europe before Europe is what, what it looks like today. This is Sir Morian from King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, brother. If you go Blockbuster or whatever, get the movie Black Knight by Martin Lawrence. Black Knight? Black Knight. And throughout the whole movie, they're calling him a Moor. The whole movie. And he doesn't know what they're talking about. And he's baffled. Why you guys keep calling me a Moor? Like I'm, I'm from Harlem. I'm a black man. Right, yeah, the back in time movie. Right, and this is just a picture of you were the first masters. This is your castle right here. And that's your guard leaning on a pillar of ivory in your castle. And then that's the first slave right there tied up. So 400 years of slavery, but 300 of it was his, was the Europeans. And you were the master. And black history is called black history because of what the Europeans put you through, which was wicked, evil, conniving, and all that stuff that you see that black means. And it has nothing to do with the people. That's why when you research dark ages of Europe, it's not talking about colored people or black people. It's talking about Europeans. But it's called the dark ages. It has nothing to do with the people. It has to do with the time period. So black history is black history because the time period was black water. It was nothing good.